this is the engine bay here. Um, the car was built by Anil Ramdin, aka the Evo King. Right, I see Signia is right here in um, King Build. And the car was towed by Dry. Right, and people within the racing community will know that um, Richard, also known as Dry, is one of the prominent tuners that we have here in the Caribbean. Right, one of the premier tuners that we have in the Caribbean. So the car was built by Andrew Ramdin, aka the Evo King, and the car was towed by Dry. Um, it's a 2 -0. right? It's a 2 0 um, Corello rod, um, JP stands. Now, with the Corello rods, um, Corello for the 4G63 platform, they give you an option where you can upgrade the rod bolts. Right, it comes with a 3 8 bolt, and you can upgrade it to what is known as the car bolt C A W R. And once you upgrade to the car bolt, the rod should be good enough for 1000 plus horsepower, according to Corello. Right, so the um, bottom end is um, Corello rods with the upgraded rod bolts, um, ARP fasteners, um, um, made bolts. Um, ARP L19 head studs, um, the full valve train is all GSC, right? GSC cams, springs, retainers, valves, whatnot. Um, the spring that is in there, the valve springs, is the um, high rated GSC valve springs, which is rated for um, if we want to rev the car up to 10,000 10, RPM, right? The seat pressure could take that. Um, the turbo is a uh, forced performance. Turbo, uh, FB Black. It's a FB Black with a Zona Center cartridge, also known as the new FB Black because it has the Zona Center cartridge. Um, the reason why I went to that Turbo for now, right, is because the car has to be not only suited for the drag track, but it also has to be suited for the streets, right? And the FB Black was a perfect combination between drag and, and track, but drag and between track and street, and street right? Um, the turbo that comes on, comes on and when it comes on it's really hard but at the same time it has been proven on the 4G, 4G 6G platform to propel the EVOs into mid to low 10s and mid 9s right and it's been proven since the turbo came out a lot of EVO guys used to run the FP Black because at one point that was the largest in the FP line and you have enough EVOs in the US that would have went low 10s, mid 9s and an FP Black Right, um, the car right now is at 665 horsepower at 36 pounds of boost on the high boost map as a Q16 map and it's at uh, in around about 460 on, at 25 pounds on the pump gas map. So you're driving around at 460? Yeah, right now the car is on the pump gas map and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's at ground at 460, 25 pounds of boost. Alright, All right, and all the magic was done like I said by dry. Dry, big up yourself. chat and seeing a picture of this engine being built downstairs in a house yeah all right so um <laughs> let me give you guys a background on this build that is a build that had to happen a very long time it so happened that there was a slight mishap in that the car had a small accident right and that pushed the build back all right but me and evo king and Neil, we were in conversation for a very long time and we'd have planned that build out and that build had to happen at the beginning of 2022 but it happened at the end of 2022 um that engine was built in two days now evo king has been building engine race engines for over 20 plus years right so you can't beat experience right so um evo king came up on thursday by friday the engine was out by friday evening the head was he did a lot of stuff in house slightly ported the head right and um we built the held and the Friday night he built the block. Uh, the block was blueprinted by him and he has some, you know, some tricks to the trade that he would have utilized. And uh, by mon by Sunday evening we had our first startup. And by Monday evening we were on the dyno. Right? Um, so that engine came out Thursday and by 
Monday evening we were driving on the dyno. Alright, the car went on the dyno. On pump gas made about 5.20, 5.30. Alright, remote tune. And on race gas, uncorrected, make about 6.89. Alright, um, that, all that goes on remote tune. Um, the car did a 11.3 up here. Right, um, went down to Trinidad and officially in the test and tune it did a couple 11 1 passes and officially in Trinidad it did 11 3. Right, that's in competition. Um, while the car was in Trinidad, um, dry went over the tune that he had the car in person. It's different from looking at a screen as opposed to sitting in the car, filling the car, hearing the car. So, dry um, retuned the car, what that, and he made sure that everything was based on his experience of tuning everything was within parameters where he wanted it and the car was retuned on dyno lab dyno in trinidad and that's where he made about 665 at 36 pounds of boost that intake there's a that's a skunk 2 skunk 2 pro intake and throttle body all right um this intake and throttle body have propelled a lot of evos into the low weights for example um stm all right stm and they held many records for a very long time within the EVO platform, they um, would have run uh, high eights with a ported Skunk 2 manifold, right? So um, you have a Skunk 2 manifold in the uh, throttle body, intake manifold, and you have a FP manifold that is ported, fully ported, uh, ported by STM. All right, so, um, so all speed. that will facilitate with the flow. Nice. Oh, no, I like that, I always get a blow valve. Yeah, that's, right. that's a tall blow valve right here, and that's the whiskey right here. Same time as well? Yes, same time. Yes, that. <laughs> when the wheels get open up on the car, right? That sounds real good. Yeah, and they try to drive. I was the in sun. front of the car. The sun, the sun and every time the car go up in boost and the head wheels get open, it's like, what? Yeah. Uh, driving forward, but turning backwards. I'll uh, give you that. Once the boost come on on that car, it moves like a freak. Here the fuel pump is a Magna 750. Uh, Magna rated this fuel pump for upwards of 2000 horsepower, but the uh, car is not all that, so we'll never get to that level. What you have here is the different switches that activate the, the in tank pump for the pump gas and the race gas pump. Alright, so what you have here is some lap off. So usually when uh, we are racing the car, we will turn off the feed from the in tank pump which is these two lockers right here right we'll turn it off and we'll turn on the return for the race gas then we will come to back right and we will turn on the fuel for the race gas and we'll turn on the return and we will switch off the in tank pump and we will turn on the race pump So that is the bomb that you have here? Yeah, that's, 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 that's the bomb that you have here. Alright. And once we turn on the race pump, I'll come inside the car. And the car is set up with a dual map. Alright, there's a dual map. There's one for pump gas and there's one for Q16. So I'll switch the map to the Q16 map and that will take it into the high boost mode. Basically, the fuel system simplifies and they have the track because now yeah. you don't have to come and drain yeah, your Yeah, basically, it simplifies and they have the track because you don't have to jack up and drain a fuel and put in back fuel, right? All I just simply do is lock off, turn off the, the pump gas, uh -huh. turn off me pump gas pump and turn on the lockers for the Q16 and turn on me Q16 pump. Simple as that. Less so, than two minutes. So, question. Um, after you put on the race pump, the excess gas will... The normal gas. Yeah. You have to burn it out. Like... No, there's a lock off, so it shuts it down. That's why the lock off is right at the rail for the in tank for the um, pump gas. So once that lock off is turned no off, there's no mixing between, there's no contamination between the Q16 and the pump gas. Wow. Only a little bit that's in the injectors, and that will burn out next to no time. time. Yeah. Wow. That's basically a simple fuel system because when the car was built, the car was built to be fully functional. Meaning that you come here. 
on the track, you run the car, run a proper time, and at the end of the day, you switch back to your regular pump gas, turn on your AC, and you drive go back home. No headaches, no problems. <laughs> Simple as that. Madness. Um, so the, the Evo, the Evo 4, 5, and 6 came with ACD, and the Evo 7 came, sorry, the Evo 4, 5, and 6 came with AYC, and the Evo 7, 8, 9 came with ACD and AYC. So the setup with the car, the car has an Evo 9 RS red. Right, which is um, the strongest ride you can get for the platform. Right, that would help with the launching and to deal with the six because we have moved the car over to six. And as a result of that, we got rid of the EYC, but we have kept the ACD. What is the ACD and the right? Active Central Diff, right? Now, the Active Central Diff, you could set it if you come in here. You have, um, you have a button right here. This is the um, dashboard. So, the ignition on, you could set it to the and new um, surface, tarmac, gravel, snow. Right, and it will um, regulate the power accordingly. Right, so that's basically how the ACD functions. Yeah.